Hey guys, it's Ben here from Solux. Uh, this video we're going to go over how to install and use the Solux mobile app so that you can connect and uh, go over the settings for your awning. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is download the free Solux mobile app from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store if you're an Android user. Uh, I am using an Apple iPhone today, so I'm going to show you how to get to it from the App Store. You're just going to search for Sol-Lux. Uh, and it should be the first result that comes up. I search for Soul Dash Lux Mobile. You can see it's that top result there. I've already installed it on my phone, so I'm going to jump over to the app. And the first time that you open up the app, uh, this guided tutorial will automatically pop up. Um, it's going to welcome you to the app, and you can see there's a lot of screens to scroll through here. I encourage you to go through them. Um, I'm actually going to go over a lot of the settings in this tutorial today in the video. Uh, but if you ever need to get back to that tutorial, you can get to it from the question mark in the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, right now I'm not connected to any awnings, so I don't have the ability to go over any settings. So that's the first step that you're going to take after your awning is installed, is go into the app and in the bottom uh, left hand corner of the app there, you can see that little grid icon. I'm going to tap on that. That's the awning management screen. And you can see I've got some available awnings within my Bluetooth range here. Quick thing to note, you're going to want to make sure that your smart device is Bluetooth enabled. Um, it does not operate over Wi-Fi. That's a common misunderstanding. So make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and also make sure that you're not connected to any other Bluetooth devices. Um, and you can see here, just as I'm talking, it's going through and scanning for Bluetooth devices within range here. I've got a couple awnings on my home that I can connect to. So I'm going to tap on this kitchen bay one and add it to my awnings. And when you add it, it's going to ask for a pin. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have that pin if it's after the first 15 minutes of installing your awning. Uh, otherwise, it'll be in what's called open pairing mode and it won't ask for that pin. Uh, after that first 15 minutes, however, you're going to always want to have that pin. So if you have a new phone down the road or a family member or friend wants to connect to your awning, um, they're going to be asked for that pin. And let's see if I remember my pin for my awning here typed it in and now now you can see I get the message that my awning is connected and it's highlighted in orange there. Uh, if I ever wanted to connect to a different awning in the future it would show up uh, as that black icon as you can see that family room awning under available awnings is also there for me to connect uh, in the future. So if I tap home I've given some information right off of the bat here. I see that battery icon in the middle of the screen shows me that I have a full battery I see the sun icon lit up. That means that based on my light sensitivity settings, uh, the awning is detecting enough light to automatically extend if I have it in autonomous mode. I also see a temperature reading. Important to note, that is not an air temperature. That is the temperature that the awning is detecting on the case or the cassette itself. So obviously, if your awning is in direct sunlight, it's going to read some high temperatures there. Nothing to be alarmed of. Uh, just letting you know that it is detecting uh, a high enough temperature to be uh, automatically extended. We'll get into that here in a minute. Uh, below we also have some manual commands. So if I do uh, want to manually extend or retract the awning, I can do that from the home screen here. Okay, so now I'm going to tap on the settings icon, which is that bottom right hand gear icon. And it takes us to the first page of the settings. First of all, I have the option to set it up on a daily schedule. So if I'm in a area where I don't get a whole lot of direct sunlight, but I still want to have my awnings extended during certain times of day. That's why we offer that ability is for you to be able to set it up on a schedule. So you can see I could set that toggle switch to enabled and I could have my awning extend at 10 a.m. every morning and retract at 8 p.m. every evening if I wanted to. Um, obviously these awnings are smart and are designed to extend and retract automatically based off of sunlight, wind, and temperature. So I always suggest if you can avoid the daily schedule, uh, avoid it. Otherwise, if you need it or you just prefer it, that's perfectly perfectly fine. Uh, we also have vacation mode. Again, I'm not a big fan of using the, the vacation mode simply because the awnings are smart enough to take care of themselves, whether you're home or not. But some people are concerned about having them extended uh, while they're gone uh, for any extended period of time. So you can set that vacation mode if you'd like. Next screen, we've got some, uh, some settings on extension percentages as well as temperature and wind sensitivity. Um, so obviously most of us are gonna want our awning to come out all the way, but if you've got your awning installed in a location where perhaps there's a tree or a shrub or something in the way um, and you need it to come out less than 100%, you can do that. 
The minimum operable temperature is all about energy efficiency. So here in Denver, we get lots of sunny days in the winter, even when it's cold outside. I believe the default that the awnings ship with is 40 degrees, uh, but you can adjust that. So it's basically saying if it's not above that temperature, do not extend. And again, that's the temperature that the awning is detecting. It's not the air temperature. It's, it's the temperature of the cassette itself. So as you saw a moment ago, that awning was reading 117 degrees. Um, that's great. It's saying, hey, I, I set mine to, to not come out unless it's above 65 degrees. That way, if it's cold and sunny out, they stay closed and I get the, the benefit of that solar gain coming through the windows. Uh, the wind sensitivity is all about motion. It's also a common misunderstanding. People ask, you know, hey, what's the mile per hour rating of these winds? Uh, or these awnings rather. Um, we have an accelerometer built into the product uh, and so it's literally detecting motion. Uh, the first time the awnings installed it's going to go through a calibration sequence. It's going to fully extend and fully retract and it, the awning will actually map out its travel path on a 3D graph in space so that it knows uh, anytime that awning is bouncing around in wind it can, it can know where it is in space and react to it according to your settings. So by default, it comes with a, a sensitivity level of three. Um, you can see the words more or less. If you slide that to either side, more or less, it's basically telling the awning, I want you to react to more wind or less wind. If I set it to a higher number on the less side, to a seven, for example, it's not going to take nearly as much wind for the awning to retract. If I set it to the more side or less sensitive, if you will, it's going to take a whole lot more wind for the awning to automatically retract. I also have some extension delays. Um, so if it does retract due to wind, I want it to wait you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Maybe I want it to wait an hour before it tries to go back out if the light conditions merit extension. Next screen is sun sensitivity. Uh, this is where I get to tell the awning how much light I want it to detect before it extends automatically and how much darkness I want it to see before it retracts automatically. This is going to take some tinkering based off of where your window is located, how much sunlight it's, it's receiving every single day. And you may want to adjust these at different times of year, you know, as the sun moves across the sky and is at different, uh, different areas of your house. So um, default is sort of right down the middle there, but brighter or darker, hopefully that's self-explanatory, but you're basically telling the awning, I want it to come out when it's really bright outside, or I want it to come out at the crack of dawn with not much light at all. Um, you get to set that on both extend and retract. And setting these sliders will directly impact the icon that is shown on the home screen. So there in the, on that home screen, you can see that sun icon. That's telling me that based off of my sensitivity settings, it is detecting enough light to automatically extend. Um, if I were to change those uh, to the less sensitive side for light. Now, I, I'm not going to be able to do it in this video because the sun is directly hitting the solar panel on my awning, but I could set it to the uh, really bright side and I might see a moon icon on this screen, meaning I do not see enough light outside for me to automatically extend. That's what that moon icon tells you. Uh, if you see a cloud icon on this home screen, it's also telling you it's in between those light levels. It's saying, yeah, it's, it, it was bright enough to extend, but it's not quite dark, dark enough to retract. Uh, that's what that cloud icon means. So it does not mean there are clouds in the sky. This is not a weather, uh, a weather app. It's not telling you anything about the, the conditions in the sky other than light. Go back into the settings here. I have some extension and retraction delays. Uh, those are meant so that your awning are not, is not going in and out 100 times a day if a thunderstorm rolls by. Um, usually you want your awning to come out right away if it notices it's bright enough to, to extend automatically. And we have a delay of 20 minutes, so that way if clouds are rolling by, the awning isn't going in right away. It wants to wait a full 20 minutes, say, yep, it's still dark enough to retract. I can go ahead and pull myself in. That's a quick walkthrough, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're happy to help, uh, and we hope you enjoy your awnings. Thanks.